Oh, glory! I got a box today and I'm very excited about it. I'm actually thinking of doing an unboxing. So I got this because I'm on this quest with the base and I have ordered myself a Sire V3. It's a demo model from the floor. Well, it's like save a couple of bucks, but there's no stores around here that have it. So I can't feel it. And I keep watching it on video. And it's just like you guys watching me show you hammocks. I'm watching bass players show basses. And I gotta know what it feels like. So I'm gonna rip into it and pick it up, tune it up, see what it does. Keep in mind, I've only been doing this since December and it's March with the bass. So I'm pretty new at this. It's good to be new because it makes it even more exciting. I like being excited. But that noise you hear in the background, that's my furnace running out here. So it's not something weird with the camera. Right, right. This is the Marcus Miller Sire. They had it really boxed up nicely and well padded in here. And I always like ordering from Sweetwater because they send you a little bag of candy. You know, even when I still have my circus show, my one-man juggling show that I retired from during the pandemic, I would get my lavalier mics and sound equipment from them. And there's always a little thank you bag of candy. And I gotta tell you, that's one of the reasons I kind of stuck with them. Plus, their salespeople always call you or text you, and sometimes they didn't like that, but it's nice that they check in and follow up, especially buying this thing from Kenny, my sales rep. My head is sideways. And you get your little receipt package. And the other thing I like, because I love them, you get a sticker. Nice having a sticker and some candy. If you don't know who Marcus Miller is, he is just a, a king of a bass player. Really known for his slap playing. So, I am real excited to take a look at this. Ooh, look at that color. Um, I was on the fence about the color, but it kind of got to me after a while. And of course, it had such a good demo price. You got a few little instructional things in here. It's padded up nicely in here. Uh, There's a tool for adjusting the truss rod. There's a cover, which I won't use, but I know Marcus, uh, Marcus Miller likes these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this beauty. Oh my. Oh dear. Let's just get this thing on sheet. Chuck. Come on, man. Get everything off of it. Oh, boy, that's light. That feels really light. I'm going to have to check the, uh, you know, the setup, but Sweetwater puts these things through what they say, a 55-point inspection. And look at that. Right here is the certificate that shows they put it through the 55-point inspection. Looks like Tony N. and Jordan inspected that. And, you know, a little something like this is just kind of cool to know. That it's been set up, it's been looked at. Now I'm going to see if I can find the flaws and the scratches on it since it was a demo model. Man, it was... Probably $85, $90 cheaper, and it's already not a really expensive base for what you get. But we'll talk about that later. This may not get you excited, but I'm excited, and it matches my hat. Nice satin feel on the back. Yeah, look at the neck. It's red on the back. Rosewood in the front. Mahogany body. Strings go through the body. Nice bridge. Two pickups. Uh, it's it's a passive bass, meaning it doesn't have a preamp. So I've just got volume. Probably uh, uh, one of these switches probably goes between these two bridges, and the other one's tone. So uh, yeah, man. And Meg saw me carry it in the box back here. I was trying to be sneaky, but I got busted. All right, well. Plug it in and check it out. Woo, buddy! There's supposed to be a little dent in it right down here somewhere. You could barely even see that. Right there. And they pointed it out to me 
and other scratches. Man, I can't even find any. Hey, look at that. That's reflective. Hello. Thank you. 